Welcome back to my Let's Play for Lunas R. Now let's head to the next area. I might have to stop and start grinding here pretty soon, just to get a bit more cash in my pockets. We, we should be fine for now, right? Just that we should stop for a rest. I'm very tired. Yes. Is Sir Heath after us too? Probably. He wouldn't listen to what we had to say. For Sir Heath, witches are the enemy, and always will be. Not a student anymore. Damn it! Big brother. I'm sorry, Theo. I just want to be alone for now. Hey, Alf. This must be tough for Alf. He looked up to Sir Heath so strongly. Lucia, where are you going? Theo, come back here. Huh? Why? Let's leave them alone for now. Okay. I wish I had more information. About what? The Steel Witch. She seemed surprised when she saw Sir Heath. I noticed that. Curious. She saw Sir Heath, the Steel Witch stopped attacking. Sir Heath seemed to be surprised when he saw the Steel Witch as well. What do you think that all meant? If I knew that, I wouldn't be wishing for more information. Hey guys, don't tell Alf about this, alright? I don't want him to have another thing to worry about. You're right. Sir Heath. Why wouldn't you listen to me? I thought you would. Are you upset that Sir Heath abandoned you? L L Lucia? I told you to leave me alone. Are you crying, Alf? N no. Let me ask you one question, then. Didn't you just tell Sir Heath that God is the one you should be fighting? Yeah, I'm right, aren't I? When did you decide that? Huh? We've come together because of all that's happened to us. But I never heard you say that you were going to fight your god before today. Can't you figure that out for yourself? If I had made that decision, I wouldn't be working with you witches. Besides, I'm your rim, right? Then stop whining about Sir Heath. He's serving the god you're not fighting. That makes him our enemy. Think about it. What if Sir Heath finds us again? You're going to run away or stand and fight. I, I... One of us... What if one of us tries to kill Sir Heath? I won't let that happen. And what if Sir Heath tries to kill one of us? Never mind. You're in no shape to fight with us. You can't be in my room if you can't let go of some things in order to protect this world. Sir Heath was more than my teacher. I looked up to him. He was like a brother. I don't want him to be... to be my enemy. But I guess I can't depend on you anymore. I thought you were the one I could count on. But apparently I was wrong. Goodbye, you crybaby. Hey, Lucia, wait! Where are you going? Darn it. Great. Sir Heath didn't listen to us. Yeah. I thought he'd understand. They were doing what we did to protect you, Theo. Indeed. But why does Sir Heath hate my lovely witches with such passion? Perhaps he has personal reasons to dislike witches so badly. Not even I know everything about Sir Heath's past. But Sir Heath was the one who taught us the importance of protecting each other. Alf. Where did Lucia go? Who cares? What happened between the two of you? No nothing. Nothing happened. Uh, did you guys have an argument? Uh, Lucia's gone off by herself again. You are Lucia's rim, aren't you? What are you doing? 
<sighs> Think about what you say, ya. Yeah. Don't be so stubborn, ya. Yeah. I love how they're picking on Alf when Lucius is being just as much as in fault in this case. Alf for not being willing to realize he might have to fight his own former master, and Lucia for being such a pain in the backside about it. As if it's such an easy decision to reach. Do you think we're being hunted because of what the church says? Because they say that the witches are evil? I believe the church is pursuing both the witches and the Lapistier. Regardless of the truth, as long as they continue their facade of punishing evil, they'll have the public support. Is the church trying to use us? We've believed in the church all this time. Was it all a lie? But what about the Steel Witch? Creating life in a laboratory disrupts the natural flow of life. Is Kingston trying to play God? He reveres God, yet he wants to be God's equal. It just doesn't make sense. Not everything the church taught us was wrong, though. I believe in protecting what's important to me. If battle cannot be avoided, the one with the weaker heart will always lose. If you want to be truly strong, you must believe in yourself. Stupid Lucia, running off by herself. Great, it's Rust Bucket. I finally caught up to you, you traitors. I swear upon my abs, pecs, and delts that I will capture you all. Tch, more church troops. How unfortunate we should encounter Captain Rust Bucket. You are this famous sword I hold in my right hand. The regular's heart. Only the leader of the Zephyroth Knights can use this edge. I shall put this awesome blade to use by punishing the traitors. Hey, Mr. Flexo. Why is that sword still in its scabbard? Here, shut up! It's stuck in the sheath! Uh, I remember the previous leader using it, though. Perhaps the sword has rusted into its scabbard. You can't even take care of your weapon? And you call yourself a knight? That is deplorable. Cram it, you stupid snots. With my ultimate physique, I don't even need a weapon to smash you. I'll pound you all flat without breaking a sweat. Then you didn't need to steal that sword, you idiot. Idiot? Disrespectful twerp. I suppose that when the master is a fool, his students will also be fools. What? Let me tell you something. Your teacher Heath was demoted from his role as one of Johannes' guards. He was made the leader of some remote army, and now he's not even that. And it's all because of you, you traitors. This is what he deserves. Because of us, Sir Heath was... If I had been demoted so shamefully, I couldn't go without my... Go out without hiding my face. You should already be hiding your face, Rust Bucket. Seriously, it's ugly. You should definitely lower that helm a bit more to cover it up. But your precious Arknight Heath is alive, clinging to his former title. What a pathetic loser. You son of a... Don't talk about Sir Heath like that. Shut up. Prepare yourself, punks. I'll show you the strength of... Rust Bucket Crow Knight Super Brigade. Kill these kids. So, are we fighting a bunch of monks now? Hmm. Reporting. Oh, 
don't you come up after me? I'll be able to hit him from here then. Oh yeah. Here I go. Come on. Oh yeah, Wind Slasher. Here I come. It's my turn. Let's see. First aid. Boost your own power. Let them come for us. No! Taste real strength! Here I come! We can heal everyone. I can still fight. This is it. You try. Okay, here I come. Okay, shotgun, maybe. Oh yeah, one down. This is gonna be a slow process. Ah, the mage is coming within striking range.
Oh yeah. My turn, huh? Gale, maybe? Healing for him? No, attacking. Oh, yeah. Finish you off where you can get any more power in to play here. This might be a bit dumb, but it'll definitely get her off the map, so I'm willing to risk it. Fire type. A bit better. Come on, faster. The carpet's like so painfully slow.
Ah, uh, due to the way things are sla placed, I can't target that. Okay. Then that's how I'll do it. Darn. Ah. Coming from the other side. It's unfortunate, but at least we took out the healers slash mages. So. It was a noble sacrifice. Okay, here I come. Oh, I'm not too worried about kind of rust bucket right here. Magic, um, hail, maybe? Risky move. I'll try and eliminate him real fast. Nice. I've only had to sacrifice one unit in this fight. Well, I guess technically sacrifice doesn't apply because we'll get Leon back. How do you like us now, Commander Rust Bucket? No mercy. No mercy, all right. But you can't take down us all.
Oh yeah, attack up. Is your armor rust? What rust bucket? For great justice. Flash drive. Got him. Shadow Clan technique. Who thought a rust bucket would be so weak? Though his minions might have been tougher than he was. Hmm. Who to talk to? Okay. Yeah, we'll pick this character. Ugh, you brats! You're betraying God's will. But God, Sora's justice. God will punish you with his might. Sora's meant to hurt people. It's used to protect them. I've heard that phrase before. Oh, the previous leader of the Zephyroth Knights used to say that. That fool is happy to be called the Lion King. L Lion King? He was so conceited, just because he was the leader. I decided I had to punish him myself instead of waiting for God to do it. I'm a much better leader than he ever was. <laughs> oh, that was fun. <laughs> what did you just say? You punished the Lion King? Yes, when the pirates came in and tried to plunder the church. I killed him as he fought the pirates and threw a lot of them in the ocean. And now I am the leader of the Zephyroth Knights. <laughs> I'm hurt from this battle. I'll let you live this time. Again. Hold it, Rust Bucket. You won't get away from me that easily. Leon. Sorry, Alf. We're out to part ways for now. Huh? Lion King that Mel had killed was my father. What? I have to avenge him. I'll never forgive Rust Bucket. Now that I know the truth, I have to go after him. I'll be back after I take him down. Later, guys. Leon! Wait, Leon, you can't. I'm sorry, Cecile. I'll see you in my dreams. No! no. What a smooth operator. He is quite bold. Leon, if you're not here, what can I... seem very determined. My lovely Cecile tried to stop him, but even that didn't work. If he can get revenge on that screwy torpedo, he'll come back. Yeah, big brother. Let's believe in Leon. Leon has his own goals. We have our own things to take care of, too. Our own things? Aren't we going to try to stop God with the lovely witches? You told Sir Heath that, at least. That's because I thought he would join us to help the world. Sir Heath didn't want to understand our situation. I, I don't want to fight Sir Heath. Alf. I see. So this is why Lucia left. You wimp. What? I understand you respect Heath. I also understand you feel like Heath has abandoned you. But you're forgetting something more important than that. More important? She's correct, Alf. Who have you sworn to protect? The planet. The whole planet? Anyone in particular? Lucia. See, you do remember. But Sir Heath... This is going to be tough. Hey, what would Sir Heath say to you if he was here right now? What? He'd probably say something like, I'll pound some sense into your head. Listen, Alf. Sir Heath always taught us that it's very important that a knight cannot run away from those he has sworn to protect. Isn't that right? 
Theo. I'm a failure of a big brother being lectured by my kid bro. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. My mind's made up. I will keep fighting, even if Sir Heath stands in our way. That's what Sir Heath has taught us to do. Alf. Big brother. There you go. Let's go look for Lucia, everyone. Thank you. I'm happy that my abilities have proven themselves useful. However, I can't let my skills dull. I must continue training. I was only goofing around, but I ended up completely burning one of my friends. I totally apologize, Vivi's Copin. Great. Well, I think I'll save getting to where Lucia's at for next episode, because... Let's face it, we already spent half an hour basically on the last battle and some story stuff. So. Till next time then. See ya.